Welcome, beautiful beings. We are here after the new moon. It's uh, the beginning of summer in some cultures. Mine. We're here with Dandelion. And who I thought was Penstemon and have learned perhaps not. Doesn't have that beard's tongue flower. So if you know about the purple flower, any of their names, in my yard they grow close to dandelion. I want to welcome in the plants, togetherness, sophistication, protection, and care. Thank you all for joining this video. Oh, look. Ah! Okay, so dandelions are edible, all parts except for the root. And um, I have been bleeding with the moon, just finished and making this video for you all. This dandelion's good. A little bit spicy, actually. She's rare. I am Guajasiri. That is my first name. My pronouns are the one and this one. I am an herbalist, a wordsmith, and a zine maker. And I co-founded, I say co, you know, the world's with me sometimes. Um, but there are a lot of people who are with me. And um, we created Authentic Creations Publishing Apothecary, um, where we do kind of a truth work and we also do a lot of decolonial work um, amplifying our narratives uh, for people of color who we call people of heritage um, or people of culture or the global major global majority tongue twister okay so today zines right what do you all want to know about zines oh maybe a little acknowledgments um our board member our tech board member richie freeness is helping produce this video and we are on Arapaho territory in Boulder, Colorado. So we begin. So I wanted to tell you a little things about zines, just in general. Like maybe you know about normal paper. This is the normal paper, how you print, at least landscape. And they call this something else. But um, those are some basic terms that I didn't know very well. And so maybe you know the size of a magazine. This is a typical magazine size. And then this is the biggest paper you can print on, like at just a print shop. And then this is the second biggest. This is legal paper. They call this bigger than legal. And then this is um, a, a more standard zine that you did yourself. Um, maybe they call it standard paper. Um, eight and a half by 11, folded in half. And zines can be a lot of different, you can make them this way. A lot of times if the cover is this way, the insides are still this way. Um, but be creative, of course, right? This is all about you spreading your message, spreading a message. Hopefully of positivity and love for each other, taking care of each other. We are doing it ourselves, but we're also doing it together um, and bringing our skills into the community to help the community. Those are the sizes. Also, there's this size, one of the tinier zines. I made this one. I love uh, this scene. And I just wanted to talk about this format. So a lot of people make one page zines with the middle blank and then there's like this crafty folding technique that I don't know how to do very well or at all right now and this is what you end up with and so the way that I do it is kind of an accordion so that you're using both sides of the paper and I love that uh, just for fun zines are all about fun for sure creativity expression um, some things about the zine you print it out fold it <laughs> square me you fold it um, I have an elk antler that I like press down on this but there's presser downers and then the staple the binding I'm like I don't even know if you can see this but the staple is off it happens 
the staple is on. <laughs> it happens. Um, so, and then I like to put these parts on the inside so that they're not poking out. That's a, just a simple sizes, staples, style. Some style is, and you know, try, try again. I don't know if you see all those holes, but if you didn't get it the first time, you can always unstaple it. And about narratives, this is an intersectional zine. Um, and I always want to point out the center page of the zine. It's always great to do a poster or some bigger image or if you're doing color. This one has colored paper as a cover and then the only color image is in the center fold. This is a fully black and white zine. What I like to tell people is just think about how your photos are printing in black and white because they can get a little blurry such and so forth. Oh, I made a bookmark. You can make all sorts of things with paper. Spread your message. Paper comes from trees. Also remember that uh, trees give us oxygen like all the other plants and we love them so much. Um, so I like to do recycled paper, recycle paper. This is a zine in full color, um, which I rarely ever do. Um, it's best if you're talking to someone outside of your regular audience. You're trying to get your message across colors and imagery, get that through. This was made for um, a group on the East Coast who educates about pollinators. They contracted me to make them a zine. Um, and this centerfold is like an interactive coloring page while the rest of the zine is in color. Um, think about your sections of your zine. I love playing around. You know, it starts with the contents, but it's like there's some inspiration, there's a dedication. The back has reflection and resources. So I just like doing things like that, writing a little bit about myself. Um, because I wrote it up. Okay, so that's it. Also, there's some little primers out there that help you at the print shop figure out the printing. Because um, that could be tricky, but most print shop people are really nice. Um, as far as spreading messages go, uh, I'm part of the Diné Nation Supporters Network. Um, so we are support the indigenous folks who live um, I guess it's so-called Arizona, the east corner, the northeast corner. I don't even know colonized geography right now. Um, so these are the Sheep Herders Almanacs, and these are supporters' report backs, and so if you want to become a supporter, you know kind of about it. What's going on out there? Um, and they mostly print in black and white, and then they did one in color, um, and right, even think about your color images, you know, sometimes you can forego, or if you just want to spruce up color, just put some colorful borders or something quick and easy. Adds a little color quickly. There are the, like, many issues of zines, so beautifully brown, got like me, that is me. Mmm, confidence building. So... I love those. They're just of me. You can get all my scenes <laughs> from my website. This centerfold um, is when I was an art model, so that's the centerfold in that one. We're just going so quick. Um, so thanks for bearing with me. So then you're like, how do you make scenes? Um, I start with paper. <laughs> um, I don't know why I think that's so funny, but I love paper. Just the tangibility. We're touching, you know. Um, ooh, that's my food stamp application. I'm also reusing, um, and that comes out in my zine, right? Sometimes there's little just snippets of something. So um, this is going to be my seed saving zine, and this is literally the bare template. And then it goes into, um, I'm making my second Dene zine, and um, perhaps the title is Sacred Land. Sometimes titles just come with whatever I'm collaging. That's my main art style 
and then I talk about authentic creations programs and so all this stuff is not really in the zine yet it's very fumbly there's just some things written on pages pieces a map and this is an old calendar so this is going to show through that border um, I like to take bits and pieces from other places um, kind of keep spreading a narrative that's already out there making cute little things pop them in there I like to reuse imagery reuse words um, some bibliography from somewhere and so that's really just how I start just copying and pasting things in here it's a hot mess jumble but at some point it's gonna turn into Ta -da! this is a uh, my newest zine Ooh, it's kind of like four months old now um we're older self-care so this i'm doing color um covers and then everything else is black and white what i love about this one is the back is a letter an envelope so you can easily uh they prefer tape you tape it put a sticker down here and send it away okay we are next scene and so some folks wanted to know like why i make zines i used to teach workshops and so these were just other ways for people to engage with um the material that i was teaching and so um I guess it kind of started just as my outline and kind of grew into something cute I could give out during the workshop. Um, and since I don't teach these workshops anymore, people love the zines maybe a little bit more than my workshop. Um, but just some big images. This one is a coloring pages. So it's talking about nature, lots of nature and lots of like color and have fun in here and explore. Lots about me in this one. That's exciting. Um, and then this one just kind of has a standard publishing back. Um, it's not stapled yet. Just folded it for you all. Um, oh, and myself, because that's my personal copy. Um, this is, I distribute medicine through Authentic Creations Publishing Apothecary, and I made a cute little simple how to use the medicine, herbal sprays, dental things topical things, hand wrote it out on some paper to get it out to the people, regular back. Um, let's see, this zine I use the most, first aid to face adversity. I uh, use it to make medicine. I'm always in here, what's my ailments? What am I trying to alleviate? What am I trying to get more of? Um, so this glossary is just so great, it has plants. Um, I add stuff, I take stuff out if it's not working anymore for me or the people I support. It's got some Espanol in here. Um, and then this is very street medic-y too. So there's some kind of street medic things in the beginning that turns into herbalism. Wahoo! This is my first Danae zine. Uh, an elder asked people to amplify their story and I'm like, I'm, I publish, I have a platform. So I actually uh, found a bunch of writings written by Danae people, printed them all out, and then I cut them up, and then I chose certain pieces to put into here. So using their own words, I wrote a story, their story, same story, the same story. Um, yeah, right, I'm using this map again for the next one, just trying to keep that alive. Um, this is a matriarch, Catherine Smith, um, who is no longer with us. She visits often in spirits. Woo, super went through those. Those are my main zines or all of them. And then also I just wanna encourage you to make things with paper. Um, I made a seed packet and then you fold it up and it turns into this. Um, oh, that's also why I wanted this one. Or not. Oh, here. So this is how to fold the inner seed packet. And then you get something like this. And you can open that up, put your seeds in it. All of our seeds come, all of our seeds come with zines. All of our zines come with seeds or vice versa, right? Um, some education, some fun, some uh, 
nature. We're really into all of those things. Um, amplifying our narratives, educating folks, um, movement building. I know, I'm like, oh, that was a whole thing. Did you get all that? I'm like, woo! So I also distribute zines. That's like my main gig. Um, made up a little distribution. Keep track of things. Have like a little packet that's like, yay, all my things. Um, organization super helps distributing for sure. Um, you can definitely come check us out at artisticapothecary.wordpress.com. There's a zine tab slash zines if you just want to go straight there. Oh, I ate one, but um, our plants are still here. We're together. Um, thank you. Thank you for, it's rushed. Maybe you can play it on slow-mo and get what you need. Um, but you can always ask questions. This uh, video was made specifically for Printed Matter, um, who I sell my zines through and have just been really supportive of me. So um, I want to thank them for picking me for this opportunity and choosing my zines and selling them for me. So this is, this is how it happens. This is the magic. Um, yeah, I'm like, ooh, let's breathe. <laughs> Yay! I'm just so excited. This was a lot of fun. I never like power through my zines in 20 minutes um, while trying to teach people about zines and remind myself about zines. Um, I feel like I personally don't give zines enough credit in my life and I want to do that more. I want to honor zines and what they offer my community, especially what they offer me. Um, these zines are literally my own narrative, trying to find some confidence in myself I wrote some zines um, and also just trying to help others right I wrote this zine to help others in their education so zines zines are multifaceted and sometimes we're just playing around right you saw those little zines actually this is me exploring my gender and sexuality but Sophie Sophie's on the water I love this scene I love simple zines I love complex scenes I did want to say too This isn't my favorite kind of zine. Every single page, whatever this is. Um, have never read this zine, but I thought I would one day. But that's the only image in the whole scene. Oh no, there's a little sprout in the back. Didn't capture me. So just think about that. Imagery, words, artistic flair, yourself, you know, uh, lead with yourself, take care of yourself. I took care of myself a lot today and that's why I'm doing this video later than I intended. So thank you all so much for being here and this is like my first video like this. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is a African necklace and this is a map of the tribal lands in yeah, some of North America, most of North America. So definitely look into that and then this is a beehive poster, um, which one? Mesoamerica Resiste. Um, it's the double-sided one. This is the open part. Um, yeah, definitely check out the beehive. And this comes from, it says tribes of the Indian nation. So maybe that's how you can find that. Yay, take care.